We are here at ESMO 2011 in Rhode Island, getting ready to demonstrate the uh, technology of implosive sleeve. The technology of implosive sleeve is a little different from the compression, the traditional compression sleeve, insofar that it uses the energy generated by a small amount of explosive. As you can see, we have a cord which contains this explosive material, which is wrapped all along the sleeve. When this cord is detonated, the energy developed by this uh, explosion is used to compress the sleeve, compress the steel, the conductor, and anything that's inside. The preparation of, uh, of this implosive sleeve is quite similar to compression, but it's uh, in so far that we require to cut the conductor and expose the steel core long enough to be able to insert the steel sleeve. If the diameter between the steel sleeve and the conductor is a little different, we provide a filler tube which brings everything to a certain to the same diameter because when we're going to compress this, we want to a surface of the sleeve to be uniform and equal. Before we put this uh, the conductor inside the sleeve, we have to make sure that the the uh, center sleeve is on the center of the aluminum sleeve or the of the of the implosive sleeve. By doing that, to do that. We mark the conductor the same at the distance to provide a mark at the edge of the sleeve. We insert this conductor on the sleeve, and this way, by putting the mark at the edge of the sleeve, we we'll assure that the the uh, uh, the steel core remains in the center. On the same side, we'll do equal the same procedures in order we have the in order to have the two conductors inserted in the middle of the sleeve. To, that, to initiate the sleeve, we use a detonator. A detonator is a, a type, a known electric type, has a little cap and attached to it as a, a small uh, plastic tube, typical, similar to a, a fiber optic. The, uh, the tube is the one that carries the signal from the initiator to the detonator. When the detonator is initiated, the whole sleeve will be set off will be a, a small explosion. There's no shrapnel, there's nothing flying away from the sleeve. The only thing is will be a noise. And the energy will compress the sleeve, will compress the, the uh, conductor to provide a uniform, uh, complete compression. The finished product, one ten thousand of a second later, will look like this. The surface of the sleeve is uniform, smooth, there's no, there's no need for filing and, and cleaning. You can see in the middle of the sleeve a little indentation. That's exactly where the, the steel sleeve was positioned. And it measures exactly the same length of the steel sleeve. The consistency of the compression is, uh, un is uh, continuous throughout the sleeve and is the same for sleeve after sleeve. As I said, this sleeve is done in a very short period of time. One ten thousand of a second is all necessary to do the compression. If we take this sleeve and we look at the cross section, we can see immediately what actually happened in the middle. This all the metal, aluminum conductor, aluminum sleeve, and the steel is now be compressed to a solid mass. If we look at the side of the of the steel sleeve, equally the same results we have. Well, we have the steel core and the steel sleeve and the aluminum being pressed all to give a uniform solid mass.